Greetings, it is I, Cantus Naravan Jacobin, Lord and Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome. It is time for Gathering the Roll, the greatest news show that's supported by the Empire. So today, we're going to have some exciting and fantastic news for you from the worlds of Magic the Gathering and role-playing games such as Dungeon Dragons, Shadowrun, and Pathfinder. But let's start with Magic the Gathering. There's some exciting news that's been going on thanks to PAX West. PAX West, of course, has had exciting news for a couple of these different things, but we're starting with Magic. So in the world of Magic, the World Championships 2016 ended. We have a new champion. He has been crowned. It is Brian Bonduin. And he conquered Marcio Carvalho with his Bant Human deck to claim the trophy and the prize money after four intense days of competition. Congratulations to our new world champion at Magic. Next up, we should talk about the massive amount of announcements that Magic came out with with new things coming out. First off, we have a Monquette. It's going to be the new block coming out next year. This one is going to be all around a plane controlled by Nicol Bolas. Villainous Elder Dragon Planeswalker. After that, they've announced Arch Enemy Nicol Bolas. Arch Enemy was uh, a special type of game that came out some years ago that I haven't talked about in the channel yet. Going to be a while before I talk about it. But regardless, it was a format that was a bunch of other players against one. In this case, the one is taking the role of Nicol Bolas, being the arch enemy to everyone else. They've announced Hour of Devastation. This is going to be the follow-up to Monquette that's going to be the second in that block. Other things that are coming out are, of course, Commander Anthology. Similar to the Dual Decks anthology that came out, this will be an anthology of the most popular of the decks from the Commander sets that have come out. After that, we have Modern Masters 2017. This one's going to be a compilation of co cards from the core sets from 8th edition all the way to M20 M2014, Magic 2014. So we're going to see what kind of interesting things comes out of that one. Finally, they have announced Dual Decks Might vs. Magic. It's going to be the Dual Decks coming out at the beginning of next year. Speaking of dual decks, let's talk about what was released in Magic this week. Dual decks Nisa vs. Obnixilis just released this upcoming weekend. You can get it right now. It's in stores. It's an exciting one. It has Planeswalkers Nisa Ravain and Obnixilis in here. Of course, as most dual decks, they're pretty well-tuned decks that you can have fight against each other or use on their own. Now, also, I do want to talk about Kaladesh. There's been a lot of exciting announcements in the world of Kaladesh. Now what is Kaladash? It's the set that's being released on the 30th of this month. So get ready and get hyped for that because Magic announced a whole slew of information about it. About the new mechanics, new things that are going to be in it, and they have already released the spoilers for a whole bunch of cards you're going to find in that set. So let's talk about some of these new mechanics briefly. The big thing they've introduced is energy. Now there's a lot of cards that gives you energy. They're a special kind of counter you effectively get on yourself as a Planeswalker that you can use to fuel various cards in your deck. It's representing the Aether, which is supposed to be around everyone in Kaladesh. They've also introduced vehicles. Vehicles are artifact creatures, which count as normal artifacts until you tap crew. The crew says you have to tap a number of creatures equal to the crew rating in power in order for this vehicle to become an artifact creature until end of turn. Exciting that they have all new mechanics based around that. They've all We've also seen the return of dwarves in this set. Dwarves have been around here and there, but they haven't had any major showing since probably... The Odyssey blocks in that area. So in the modern age, there hasn't been any major showing of dwarfs. It's exciting to get them back. We've also got a new word, create. Create, replace, put into play. So if you create a token, you're putting a token into play like it used to be. And of course, the new exciting cat keyword, fabricate. When a creature comes, in, when this creature comes to play, you can put a plus one, plus one counter on it or put a one, one creature into play. So fabricate, you get a one, one counter or a 1-1 creature, your choice. Now let's move on from Magic Gathering news to D&D news, for they were also at PAX West. It's Wizards of the Coast. They were there together. Get hyped, everybody. Storm King's Thunder's coming out. This week, Storm King's Thunder, the new adventure from Wizards of the Coast is coming out. It's an adventure from levels 1 to 11 or higher, where you go on and you take on giants. Giants are coming out of their towers. They're coming out of the woodworks, threatening people. It's time to fight back. So it's going to be an exciting one. I've been enjoying running Curse of Strahd, one of their previous adventures. This one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun too. So as I said, they were at PAX West. The big thing that a lot of people have been excited about is Acquisitions Incorporated, their podcast slash live action show, had one of its showings at PAX West. They even had some Fathom events where you could have caught it in theaters. If you haven't seen it yet, I'd recommend checking it out. Wizards is claiming that we're going to get the VOD up for people to see. We're going to see about when that takes it up. I will let people know. 
if it comes up in a good amount of time and where you can find it. Let's move on to talk about Pathfinder news. And the big thing about Pathfinder is first I want to mention something that came out just recently. It's a little older than most of this news I'm giving, but I did want to mention it to you. Strange Aeons, the new adventure path from Pathfinder, the first adventure is out out now. So this one sounds like a very exciting one. It's got a lot of mystery, madness, horror themes. It's got core alien creatures. Got a little bit of that Cthulhu Lovecraftian feel to it. It's going to be a fun one. I can't wait to try it out, either running it or playing in it. And as for the just releases, there's the Pathfinder Player's Companion, Haunted Heroes. This one's all about your heroes getting haunted by dark spirits. They've always had haunts before, kind of spiritual traps. Now what happens when your heroes are haunted? It gives some archetypes, some special abilities, spells, that sort of thing, feats, anything that deals with your heroes being haunted by some dark force. Or it could be benevolent, you never know. Moving on to some brief Shadowrun news. No new books have come out for Shadowrun, but some of the Shadowrun Legends novel series have had some new releases. Two new ones have come out if you're interested. In. They're books that help you immerse yourself in the Shadowrun universe and learn a few things about the world and how it works. Always fun to read things like this. Anyway, Technoblade came out and Clockwork ha Asylum, the Dragonheart Saga number two came out. So these are exciting books. Hey, if you want to learn some more about the Shadowrun world, I'd recommend seeing it. Otherwise, not going to affect you very much. Now let's move on to the last bit of news for today. Some Vampire the Masquerade news. Well, technically World of Darkness and all. Vampire the Masquerade is ce celebrating 25 years. It's gotten its anniversary this year. And they were celebrating the, over this weekend with the Grand Masquerade in New Orleans. This exciting event was taking place to hearken in the anniversary and to celebrate everything Vampire the Masquerade. So hopefully you were down there. If not, you can learn about it so that maybe you can join next year. So that's it for the news for this week. Links, links to anything dealing with these news articles will be in the descriptions. Remember to like and subscribe and of course share this video, share some of the news. And if you have any anything you want to say about these news stories, discussion or otherwise, just leave in the comments below. And until next week, I bid you farewell.